<laughs> you haven't seen everything yet, right? Okay. Wow. So we're looking at. Good. Good day. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a new person. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Dr. Sue, and uh, here with Jen. With, with Jenny. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to be doing um, a case of uh, liposuction for someone who has lipedema, um, and lipedema is a uh, a uh, disease of the fat, which is uh, a heavy fat accumulation um, that's disproportionate around the legs compared to the rest of the body. And uh, we'll take a look in a second, you know, uh, at uh, the areas that uh, it's affecting Jenny. But you want to tell us a little bit about uh, how, you know, what you've seen throughout your life as far as your legs and, yeah, and what okay. you try to do? <laughs> okay, so I, since growing up, I've always been a swimmer. So. Uh -huh always been really exposed oh, okay. yeah. um, and I remember growing up that I was always teased I was always I mean I was like sent things in the mail like hate mm -hmm. mail like really emotional things wow. um, yeah. because of my size mm -hmm. um, so that's just affected me in like how I dress and like things yeah. that I like to do and I mean especially with being a swimmer mm -hmm. um, that always made it a little bit more um, emotionally taxing yeah so, and um so with all the swimming and uh, were you in any other other athletics or was it mainly swimming? Um, basketball until I realized I was definitely too short to continue that. Okay. So uh, with all the athletics and everything, did you ever see any kind of improvement in losing some of the fat from the leg area or not? I've noticed like some slimming, but nothing that you would ever be like that. Oh, like that girl is athletic; she has mm -hmm. muscle. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Have you been able to do anything through working out or anything to reduce your leg size? Very minimally. So mm -hmm. even with like a strong leg day, mm -hmm. um, like sore the next day, can't mm -hmm. stand up, yeah. um, really not okay. the results that we want. And lipedema can be, I mean, some people think it's a, you know, progressive and it's always progressive, but uh, I'm not sure I believe that. But it can be progressive. Have you noticed it to be a, more of a progressive problem with you? Yeah, definitely. Especially once I hit puberty. Mm -hmm. um, I, I noticed my legs definitely started getting bigger, okay. and especially around my knees. Okay. Um, we always thought in my family it was lymphedema. Okay. Um, but after a little bit of research, we realized, yeah. okay, this is Yeah, probably... lipedema is just fat. It's not, it's not fluid swelling. Yeah. Or if there is, it's a more minimal component. It's not, you know, the main problem is not from fluid. It's from that. Right, right. Okay. And uh, some people, um, lip lipedema is also known as uh, painful fat disease because in many patients they also have tenderness. Is that something that affects you or not? Not too bad. Okay. Um, I mean, if like you take a, like when my cats walk on me, <laughs> um, that hurts. <laughs> okay, well, actually, but. you know, that, that kind of qualifies because, you know, okay, like yeah. light pressure like this, that doesn't hurt my, you know, that doesn't hurt anything right here. But right. light pressure like this, on fatty areas around the leg or right. you know, the knees is uh, one of the um, symptoms that, that that people have. Light pressure causing you know some discomfort. Yeah. Okay, so um, anything else you want to tell you know audience or people who've been suffering from this? Um, it can get better. I'm excited. <laughs> but uh, so with lipedema. The only real cure that exists out there right now is liposuction. There's different diets that may help lessen the progression. It's not going to cure it. And then there's uh, there, there's uh, use of compression stockings. But unless you have a really component of edema, compression stockings don't do much, or they don't do much after you take them off. I mean, you may squeeze a little bit of fluid out, and it comes right back. You know, that's normal fluid. So, <clears throat> so the only real cure which is um, a medical cure for this, uh, the symptoms that people have, is uh, liposuction. And when you have liposuction, you want to have that fat removed very completely. You know, many doctors who do liposuction may only take about 50% of the fat that is in that area because that's kind of what they're taught. But uh, here at uh, Artistic Lipo, um, this is what we specialize in, uh, liposuction. All our doctors are specialists in this and we've been doing it for a long time. 80 to 90 percent is what I shoot for, okay? And I'll be getting at least 80 percent of fat gone. Getting the fat gone is not the end all be all because you have to do it smoothly. You have to do and blend it beautifully. Liposuction is not a 
the vacuuming process. It's a sculpting process. So what we're going to do today is we're going to remove that fat very completely so that you don't have to deal with this lipedema issue anymore. It's going to be very permanent. Um, but the other thing is we're going to do it so beautifully that it looks natural. The natural shape of your leg is going to be restored. It's not going to be lumpy and bumpy, which is what can happen and does happen all the time if you don't go to a doctor who knows what they're doing. And I don't want to um, tell you, you know, how, uh, well, I do want you to understand how, you know, um, how often this occurs, but um, it's not about the doctor's degrees or anything that they can sh um, show you on a piece of paper. You want to see photos and you want to see res actual results. And there's several doctors out there that claim to do a lot of these types of surgeries and yet they hardly have any kind of results to show. And you really want to see a lot of results because just removing fat is not the, the name of the game. I've had to fix a number of people who've had lumpy, bumpy results, only 50% removal. And, uh, yeah, I've been and, all up and down. Yeah, you don't, want, you don't want to end up on one of those, uh, uh, you don't want to end up with those types of results and have to do it all over again, okay? Because it's not easy to do it the first time and it's much harder to fix anything that's been messed up. Okay, Jenny, we're, uh, uh, we're gonna show the audience and what your uh, problem is here, okay? So um, I'm just backing up and can you slowly turn facing me a little bit? Okay, so as we can see, you know, Jenny has a thinner upper torso and then her legs are where um, most of the fat is accumulated. But um, in this case, with the lipedema, uh, we see a couple things. There's a lot of uh, excess buildup of fat around the knees and also down around the ankles. It's what we call cuffing, okay? Uh, there's actually a bulge of fat that um, bulges outward and then comes to a discrete stop, uh, like a little cuff. And then can you turn around, Jenny, so we can see the backside? So we can see that cuffing in the back too. But uh, a lot of that, there's like a cuffing around the knee area too. And then we can see that there's just a lot of uh, fat accumulation around the, the um, mid calf also. All this area, can you turn back around for us? We're gonna be working from her ankles all the way up to, um, yes, where, here, yeah. So Jenny is showing us the lines that uh, we're coming up to about mid thigh on her. Okay, and we're coming up to mid thigh. If you take a look at her um, upper thighs, the upper thighs are always the widest, and you know, and the the shape that we uh, want to achieve, which is uh, the normal shape, is a slimming shape that uh, where the thigh narrows as it goes downward toward the knee. But as you can see on uh, her legs, right around midway on the inner and outer aspects of the thigh, it starts getting wider about midway down. What we're gonna see is uh, from this point we want this to start narrowing in and we want this to narrow in and even just from the knee area alone we see as the knee gets uh, narrower that's the natural shape of the leg that's what I would want to achieve you know from a proportion standpoint uh, a narrow narrow knee that uh, tapers down from here this area is also going to cut in and then this area is going to come in too so um, and that's a little bit hard to explain, but it, um, the whole aspect of sculpting that we talked about before is about shaping the legs, not just removing some fat. It's about shaping and making sure that it comes in and blends into the rest of the body. How are you doing, Jenny? Okay. Okay. How's everything been so far? Good. Not too bad. Okay. So to our audience, um, to our audience, uh, we have just completed one side, so oh you haven't seen everything there. Okay, wow. so we're looking at. Can you put the legs down? Okay, so I guess you guys can tell which side's been done, which side hasn't. But let's go and stand up, okay? Jenny, the, the pad's right there, and then. Unreal. Can I turn? Yeah, yeah, go turn and take a look from all different directions and and uh Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, go ahead and turn your body straight so you see from Wow. Okay, so we have a little bit of bloody drainage coming out this normal. Yeah, turn your face. 
Wow, that's unreal. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Good? Good day. Yeah. Good day. Okay. All right. Okay, that's just one side done, so we got a whole other side to do. All right. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do it, okay. <laughs> All right, bye-bye guys, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, Jenny, how you doing? Okay, I'm good. Okay, time to get up again, okay? Because we have just finished the second side. I know you're kind of worn out. Okay. Okay, you can look at it right there if you'd like. Yeah, cool. And I'm just... Oh my God. That's like... Nice. Insane. Okay, wait till you stand up. Let's take a look at everything, you know, make sure everything looks good, okay? Stand up now? Yeah, yeah, stand up right here. Oh my god. I'm a new person. Oh, That's right. crazy. Let's get your body straight. Your, let's okay. get your legs straight so I just kind of see a nice cut. Okay, looks like we got a really good blend from your upper thighs, right? Yeah. So your upper thighs, we did the, we got the knees really good. Okay, go and turn around, turn around and take a look at everything. We got to really be careful that you don't get lightheaded here. Okay. Keep going around. Wow. Okay, we got some drainage coming out. That looks great. Okay, you want to go up on tippy toes? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can take a look. Look. Oh my god, that's a first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Turn facing Rochelle over there. Okay, so we're a little bit bloody here today. Some cases are a little bit bloody, so that's normal. Okay. So you can take a look all just by yourself. You, okay. Here, do whatever you want right now. Yeah, I think I need to sit for a second. Okay, let's go ahead. Do you think you need to sit? Down. All right, say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> okay, like it? Yeah, great. Oh, perfect. Okay, awesome. Okay, today we're doing a uh, just a follow-up with Jenny on some lipedema liposuction that we did. Uh, was it a year ago, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. next week will be a year. Okay, and the reason Jenny is wearing a mask and she's sitting on a table right here on our follow-up is because today we're actually doing liposuction of her arms, which also was an area that was affected by lipidemia. You can go ahead and take this now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, anyways, uh, Jenny, we're just halfway through. We're taking a break because it's been a, a pretty um, difficult workout for both of us, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I just want to talk with Jenny about her experience doing um, liposuction of her lower legs. We did from her ankles all the way up to mid-thigh. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'll show you some uh, pictures popping up on this video here. But... Um, her knee was like a lot, way out of proportion compared to the thigh and also really heavy on the calf and down to the ankles. Mm -hmm. So, hey, you take over. Tell them, tell them, just tell them a little bit about what you went through and why you had, why you yeah. did end up doing um, this. So growing up, I always thought that it was lymphedema mm -hmm. um, until I started doing some exploring. I found mm -hmm. um, some people on Facebook and I learned about lipedema. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, I think that's what I have. Mm -hmm. More research kind of confirmed it. Mm -hmm. Um, growing up, I was teased and, you know, it always affected my self-esteem. And mm -hmm. then after getting um, the lipo, mm -hmm. I mean, just my confidence has shot up. Awesome. I feel, yeah, it really has been, like, such a great experience. Uh -huh. um, I mean, and that's why I'm doing it again. <laughs> yeah. and, and you did not have um, a lot of physical symptoms, right? Correct. No, I did not. Did you even have heaviness or anything else like that? Not that I, not that I noticed now looking back I, mm -hmm. I don't really think i think okay. twice about it okay so not all people with lipedema have physical pain and heaviness symptoms but jenny had very um resistant fat to anything i mean your midsection's nice and um and contoured and everything and flat and tummy but your legs you know when they see the pictures you know you can kind of see yeah. so anyways let me um just show all right a little bit so this is jenny's legs now and uh, down here, flying around. Okay, two. Her legs. So, in the before and after picture, you see that the leg, the her um, her uh, knees were really a yes. problem, and you couldn't see any kind of contour. Right there before. Yeah. And now it's so smooth. Yeah. Okay, so it's been a year, and um, here. So. Um, Maybe, um, you know, what would be helpful is, you know, helpful for me to explain to um, viewers out there, what was the healing process like? 
um, for our legs. It was, I would say it was difficult. Uh -huh. um, some days, it did progressively, <laughs> <laughs> it did progressively, of course, get better. Uh -huh. um, swelling was at its peak at mm -hmm. about two weeks. Okay. Um, but I would say movement is mm -hmm. key. Okay. Um, afterwards, like once I was able to go in the pool again, mm -hmm. um, that was really helpful because okay. that's, you know, that's that graduated compression. Yeah. Um, and then something else that was helpful was just, you know, just squeezing and massaging mm -hmm. and, um, you know, different things that, you know, as, as you can tolerate it, that's what I would be doing. Now, our patients have a wide range of swelling from anywhere from, okay, my ankles look puffy to they're blown up and the feet are blowing up and huge. So the huge swelling may be in about 20% 20 20 of patients, two out of 10. Were your feet blown up? No, but, blown? no, I knew that they were, I could tell that they were like, swollen, mm -hmm. um, but I, was, I wasn't like- Were your knees blown up? Not, nothing crazy. I, I okay. kind of figured that it was okay. the swelling, so. Okay. Um, so I would, you know, Jenny's describing something I think she probably was one that moderate range. Mm -hmm. Very few patients have tiny swelling, but I see some that hardly have any swelling. But most people are in this moderate range of swelling, they can still move around, but it's stiff. And yeah, and uh, so Jenny also told me that you use the Nortec compression boots, right? Yes, I did. Okay, and that was helpful, right? Yeah, definitely. It okay. felt good. Not something everyone can really afford, they're pretty expensive, but uh, the Nortec are like a sequential compression boots that you turn on and and uh, for lipedema sufferers, they may already have a pair of those because that's one of the things that can help with uh, you know lipedema treatment that's non-surgical. Anyways, um, when would you say that you could see your results pretty well? Um, I mean, honestly, even after like a month, I was like, wow, this is mm -hmm. it. Like, I'm happy with just this. And then mm -hmm. eventually, I, I would say like, Maybe at like the two and a half, three month mark, mm -hmm. where I was like, wow, like it's it's still getting better. Oh, okay. You know, um, so I would say like, you know, it took patience, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I think that, you know, around like that three month mark is okay. where okay. we started seeing. Yeah. So um, this is pretty typical. I would say most, uh, I would tell all my patients when we do the lower legs, it is so much different from the rest of the body. Arms and tummies and upper thigh areas, they don't swell that much, but in, in most of these other body areas, three months you're already seeing your results really nicely. But on the legs, the lower legs, the ankle areas, that, that point at which you can see your results pretty good already, maybe three to six months. Mm -hmm. And it may be nine to 12 months before all of it's gone away. So. Uh, I always try to prepare my lipedema and liposuction patients, the ones that are doing their legs, for an expectation that is going to be much more prolonged because some of them will be that way. Yeah. And I think that's the general um, consensus if you listen to different doctors and stuff that are treating lipedema. It does take more time. And because this body is at the very bottom of the body where gravity affects things the most, as well as just the lipedema by itself. So, anyways. Yeah, I think that three month mark was where I started seeing like, yeah. okay, now we're like really yeah. in the okay. less so swelling area. You said this may really made a big difference. For Absolutely, you. yeah. Anything in particular that you know kind of stands out? Like, oh, now I can do this, or I couldn't do that before. Um, I, it's gonna sound superficial, but it's <laughs> it's my confidence. Like, I yeah. I feel confident like going out wearing shorts now. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. um, even like if I'm at the gym exercising, uh -huh. I feel like I'm able to move better. Yeah. You know, if you're an outdoors person. You're telling me about the the kayaking and boating and everything. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, so um, th I mean, definitely, I'm able to just feel more free and I think that that confidence has given mm -hmm. me the ability to then go and do more mm -hmm. things because mm -hmm. I'm not limiting myself anymore. Okay.